today i am going to show you how to make mock in autocad 3d so let's begin here uh, we are in 3d and our unit is architectural we are in 2d wireframe and our view is unsaved so from here go to front view okay at first select line draw a line and to make straight line we need to select ortho mode okay now another line okay now select three point arc Okay, this uh, this one is smaller. We need a bigger one. Okay. Uh, okay. Now delete this one. This seems to be better. Now select line again. Now join these two, two parts. For joining, click on J and enter. They are joined. Now from this option, select revolve. Now select this part, enter. Now click on this point and this point. Click enter. Now from front view, go to the isometric and from 2D wireframe, go to realistic. Now we don't need this line, so select line and delete. Select line and delete. Now we need to make this uh, thicker to make this thick at first select thicken and now click uh, select this mug enter now put the thickness 2 inch so you got the thickness 2 inch I think 2 inch is not enough, we can uh, make it thicker, so go back, now select thicken again, select object to thick, enter, now put the thickness 4, this seems to be better, now we need to select this upper part, for filleting, go to solid and from here select fillet. From here select radius and put the radius to enter. Now select this corner and this corner, enter. Okay, again uh, select fillet. Select radius, put the radius to inch, and select this part, and this part, enter, okay. select enter two times, and this is uh, just one part of mark, and now we need to add the handle in this side, so go to home, and from here select front view. Now select three point arc. Now click here. This point. Okay. 
I click here. Now select a circle. This time draw a circle. Okay. Now from here select it. Cut off select this circle. Enter and select this arc. Okay. I think uh, the handle is not in proper proper uh, in proper place. Okay, so reject this one. Go back. Again, click three point arc. Okay, select this point. Click here. And this point, and select the circle. Draw the circle here. Now from here, select it. Select this circle at first. Enter. Now select this arc. Select this one. Remove this one. Yes. Okay. Not in proper place. Yes, uh, okay, let's uh, solve this this problem. Uh, go to solid. Select select. Now select radius. Put the radius. Say, uh, Fine. Now select this part, this corner. Enter. Okay, it, uh, it, it it it's okay now. It is joined in this way. Now this part is left. So select a uh, flat again. Select radius. Now, okay, let's try another way. Go to home. Now, select press pull. Click here. And just, okay, this one is better. So, we can apply this one. So, uh, if we want to apply this uh, technique in both parts, okay, go back. We can do it again. While drawing anything, you may face different problems, so you need to solve that. Just select three point arc, click here, this point, and click here, fill the circle. Okay, the circle, let's do it. Add for this circle, enter and this arc. Okay. 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 Can you move this one? Just change the view. Go to the isometric. Another view. AC isometric, another view, any isometric, another view, <coughs> NW isometric. From this all part, I think this one is better. Okay. Now, okay, this portion, this portion is okay. This portion is also okay. Now we can apply the material. For applying material, go to visualize. And from here, from this option, select material browser. Go to home. Autodesk library. 
okay we can apply uh, okay let's check what we can apply we can apply glass or plastic or no apply glass select glass so there are different types of glasses so let's check all of this okay Uh, okay select this glass and let's apply this one okay so these are glass okay uh, okay what happened what happened why this is look the uh. let's check this one okay that is a view problem okay so this is our glass so friends if you think this video is useful please subscribe my channel like comment and share my videos and if you have any question you can ask that in the comment box Thank you.